So this is my Volkswagen T4 1998 1.9 TD. Now I just want to point out to everybody the problem I was having was when I was coming down the motorway after a long drive, probably about four and a half hours, uh, the fans decided to stop working and I noticed the engine ju temperature jumped right up. So I immediately pulled over, checked that I got coolant, everything was alright, so immediately went to all the sources. After checking online, I found out there's a fuse pack right here next to the ECU control for the fans. So that's the main control unit for the fans with the fuse, which is normally a flat fuse, which I've had to interlink for emergency reasons of getting back with a 50 amp blade fuse. Now this is just a direct run straight from the battery to the fuses, to the lines, down to the ECUs, controlled by a small switch cable. Now the switch cable is going back from each relay from from the cooling switch. Now, not knowing any of this, I didn't know which part was broken. Leading on to later parts of reading up, I found out there's a cooling thermostatic switch on the radiator located here. It cost me £15 to replace and this was my problem. This basically picks up at 87 degrees and clicks in the first thermostat, which runs the fans on a steady level. The second one runs at 92 degrees, which should click in and click the fans up to a higher level, which you often notice if you stop and then your fans kick in, it's your fans overrunning because they're picking up that it's gone to 92 degrees. So basically swapped that unit there and still had nothing. So leading on to it I then linked out the switch so just by disconnecting it I'll make a further video on how to link out these connections where it is as a piece of cable this is the permanent live you can link this across to each two points to check for the fans working now if you link between these two points and the fans run then great it's definitely the thermostatic switch. Now, in my case, I've changed the thermostatic switch, linked it out, put it back on, only one of my fans was running with a bit of a squeak. The other one was completely seized. So I've had to completely remove the front panel. And these two nuts here. Now, in doing so, you can gain access into the back of the radiator. Now, these aren't usually finger loose. I've simply just done these recently for the video. So as you can see, with the front grill removed, which is simply just fixing this side, fixing this side, and then usually one's going across your trim. Now I've got three which somebody's put some tech screws in which aren't the originals. Simply get your radiator, lift it up and out and that's put your radiator into the service position giving you a wide access to the fan. So just dropping it back I've had to completely remove the fan which was a simple case of three bolts on the sides and then just unclipping it from the main connector which is this one so as you can see the connection to the other fan I've left on because it's still running so in the case of it running up to 92 degrees it will still kick in a little bit and I have still got a little bit of fan work going on so going back to it this is the blade fuse point. Now, this is the temporary one. I've just ordered one and I advise anybody to have a pack of these on the van because this is a common fault and known for going. I've also learned that this is one of the most common faults for why they set on fire. The fan seizes, the fuse doesn't blow, and it just causes a fire. 
there's constant power supplied to the fan which isn't running and causes a fire. So there is a link that I will be putting on which links to an eBay site. Um, not a big fan of eBay, I must admit, but this bloke really knows what he's talking about and he's directed us towards a 30 amp fuse for this. Now, a 30 amp fuse is still plenty to run it, uh, but in the chance of an overload, it will short the fuse out rather than burning the fan. The 50 amp load is a good load, but the 30 amp fuse is a lot more likely to burn out than your fan is and it's still adequate for running so that is one main thing to bear in mind that you know you can downgrade these for the safer option at any point for the 30 amp and it will still work so what I'm going to do I'm going to get back to you uh, and just show you before I leave the fan that I've removed so this is the unit that I've had that's had the problems so there's the three fixings off the side and then the connection but as you can see it's very old and if you try and turn it there's nothing it's completely seized now if my fuse didn't go that would have set on fire so just be aware of that and I will make a video further on of how to put it back in and what I will do as a repair thank you